Okay, if we're gonna look at number six, this little drawing helps. Charlie's gonna kick a 48 meter field goal, so how far does the ball need to go? 48. So the DH here appears to be? 48 meters. Now, it said it had a hang time, or a time total of 3.45 seconds. And we wanna know the initial angle and velocity of the kick. So if I want to know this and this, then I clearly need to find that and that. Correct. Well, the VH part is really easy because, of course, we know VH is GH over T. And I know the GH and I know the T. So that part's really easy. So we just take 48 divided by 3.45. And we get 13.9 down here. Now we just need to find the VVI. And to find the VVI, we say, well, in that 3.45 seconds, the ball went up and the ball came down. down. If we just look at the trip down, we know the trip up. Okay, we'll look at the trip up because this was up. So we know it's going to go up until it stops. stops. So I know the VF is going to be down there. I don't know what the VI is, but I know my acceleration and I know the time is going to be this time divided by 2 because it went up and came down and so we're just worried about the time up so we've got that so then we say well what has these equations in it and clearly that would be the VVI is equal to VF minus AT our original acceleration equation solved for VI it would look like that. So we're going to have 0 minus negative 9.81. So those will cancel. Times the time of 3.45 over 2. Does that make sense? Is that plus or minus? Well, this was 0 minus negative 9.81. So this minus and this negative cancels. So basically, we just get 9.81 times time. So if we take 9.81 times 3.45 divided by 2, because we only want half that time, we found that we kicked it upward at 16.9 meters per second. So then if I know this side and this side, and I want to know the hypotenuse, I need to? Pythagorize it. Pythagorize it. So. <clears throat> and that gives me a velocity of 21.899. So I was thinking 21.9. And then to find this angle, of course, we always use tangent to the minus 1. And the opposite side over the adjacent side. And we get a 51 degree angle. So next time you're watching football, a lot of times when you're doing football, if you watch NFL, whenever they punt, they will show you what distance the punt went and what the hang time is. That shows up on TV a lot. So you can take these numbers, like we had there, and you can do this calculation real fast. And you can tell your dad, hey, dad, did you know that they punted this exactly at this speed? And at that angle, and your dad will either say, wow, you're getting a really quality education, or he'll say, shut up and give me a beer. Um, <laughs> it depends on the dad you have. So. 